What's up, beautiful people? God bless you. It is one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. If you know me, you know me. If you don't, then I ain't your homie. But welcome, welcome. I am excited to be here today. I am ready to release the word of the Lord. There is so much happening in the spirit realm and even the natural. And I know it can feel unsettling for many of you. In fact, it can feel very fearful and very hopeless. But I have a word to share and a word to release over you. But this is an urgent prophetic broadcast as the Lord has shown me a number of things that are to take place. And the Lord has given me prophetic insight and intel. So I want to release the word of the Lord over you because we are living in a very important time. We are in a very important, crucial junction of time. We are one month away from Rosh Hashanah and the 10 days of awe in Yom Kippur. Uh, so literally the Lord said, this next month is a month of miracles and a month of mysteries. So I'm excited to share the word of the Lord with you. And uh, I want you to begin to pray as you log in because there's gonna be some heavy stuff, okay? There's gonna be some heavy truth, but we're here to not only expose the enemy, but we are here to release hope and to release the prophetic word of redemption because what prophets do, prophets do not only alert God's people, but prophets release redemption and solution. Can I get an amen? So this is an urgent prophetic broadcast uh, of course, as I've been traveling the nations for the last six weeks, uh, my heart has been uh, here in the United States. My eyes have been watching. Uh, I have not disconnected from what's happening, of course, in America and globally. But there's so much happening that uh, I believe we need to release a clarion call, a prophetic watchman word over the United States and over the nations of the earth. So there is a lot that I want to release over you and to share. So I want you to begin to share, 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 give us some hearts and likes, comment below where you're watching from. Uh, once again, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And if you follow me and if you know me, then you know that uh, what we are uh, known for this ministry is to release prophetic insight, intel, information, revelation, and impartation concerning the times and seasons. Because I am a signs, a times and seasons prophet and also a signs and wonders prophet. But we are living in incredible, exciting times. But just know that although the devil has a plot, God has a plan. And the plans of the Lord will succeed. And the plots of the enemy will be thwarted and will be dismantled and will come to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. If you agree with me, I want you to say amen. And I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Continue to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Uh, share it in some prophetic groups because this is gonna be a very important word that I share today. Very important broadcast. And please pray as you're jumping on that the airways will be blood blocked, that this broadcast will be clear, that there will be no disruptions from Mark Zuck and all of the evil elitists that are manipulating the sound and the airwaves in the sky because we need to preach the gospel, the good news of Jesus. And we as well need to release the prophetic word of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. As you're jumping on, I want you to say hello and continue to tag somebody and share this on your wall. Praise God. I am seeing comments of how their internet Wi-Fi connection or the connection is not so good. So that is what we're praying for and against. And unusually, as I'm watching here on my laptop, a lot of your comments are being hidden. So I'm manually unhiding and clicking the unhide button, which is very odd. 
But I want you to continue to pray in the Holy Ghost. And I want you to continue to increase the atmosphere and the algorithm. Because like I said, this is an urgent prophetic broadcast, an urgent prophetic word. Now I'm reminded about one year ago, the Lord showed me a vision. And of course that word went viral. But about one year ago, and that was the Sunday we had Dr. Robert Laird in with us at Open Heavens World. About one year ago, I uh, had a vision and I released a vision of the Lord uh, that there were lines of people waiting for food bank and food lines and food distribution, et cetera, et cetera. I feel that same sense of urgency and that same sense of alertness in my spirit as I'm sharing and releasing this word today. So let's continue to build up the room and the atmosphere because what I'm sharing and releasing today, it's urgent and it's gonna be crucial for the watchmen, the intercessors, and a company of prophets to gather and unite together and to pray in the name of Jesus. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen and hallelujah. Praise God. Now, once again, very quickly, um, I've just come traveling for six weeks around the Pacific Ring of Fire from Samoa to Fiji to Hawaii, Oahu. Then we went to Singapore, Malaysia, Bali, and Jakarta, Indonesia. So it's been a very incredible six weeks of harvest and revival. And one of the things I've been saying is I've been traveling like a madman this year because I know another lockdown is coming. If you know me, if you follow me, you know I've been talking about this since 2020, since the first scandemic. You know, since the first pandemic, I have been uh, alerting God's people and raising up the clarion call of prophetic words and warnings because all of this has been a dress rehearsal. All of this has been a setup for what the globalist elitist wants to plot and ploy. Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear have known and understood that there's been an unmasking of the devil and there has been ev an evil plot and agenda of the enemy that's been working behind the scenes tirelessly. But we know that the devil has overplayed his hand. We know that the enemy has overplayed his hand. And in midst of these shakings and these warnings and in midst of these quakings, there has been a new breed that's been rising. And we've been seeing revivals. Amen. We've been seeing moves of God. It's been awesome. Glory be to God. It's been incredible as we have been seeing moves of God sweep across America and in the nations of the earth. But I've been saying this relentlessly over the pulpit, online, etc., etc., that I have been traveling like a madman because I know another lockdown is coming. Now, uh, there's a famous quote. I, I forget who quoted this, so please excuse me. But there's a famous quote I remember reading in a book years ago where this general of old said, you must have the Bible in one hand and the newspaper in the other hand. You must have the word of God in one hand and you must have the newspaper in the other hand. Why is that? So that we can be informed of the daily news, not the fake news, not the fear mongering news, but we can be aware of what's happening locally and globally as well. That information uh, leads us to pray properly because we need strategic and specific prayers. We need to be strategic with our prayer efforts. We're not just praying in the dark, but we are hitting the mark, the bullseye target, and the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Can I get an amen? So we need to be informed as well, the reason why we should have the Bible in one hand and the newspaper in the other, in a sense, is to see the word of the Lord come to pass because we must track and date and account prophetic words to see that his promises are being fulfilled for every promise in Christ Jesus is yes and amen. Can I get a hallelujah? So we must be informed. We are in the world, 
people. We're not of it. But as long as we are in the world, we must not be in a little Christian kumbaya bubble, but we must be aware and we must also be effective in our spiritual warfare. Can I get a hallelujah? So today I am releasing some urgent prophetic words and warnings that have been inundated in my spirit. Now we understand what's going on with the fires in Lahaina, Maui, the fires that's been taking place even in Canada. This is not global warming, friends. This is not climate change, okay? This is global tyranny. This is global control. This is the elitist and the globalist, the WEF, the United Nations. This is the one world order, otherwise known as the Antichrist government. This is the Antichrist universalistic government that is trying to destroy our nation and the nations of the earth. And of course, they do so by creating chaos and havoc. I know I'm saying a lot right now, but I'm just prophetically starting building a foundation to track us together to what I want to release. Of course, pandemic, that word pan in the Greek comes from pandemonium. Now, pan is a Greek god. In, the, in Greek mythology, there's a god named pan. Now, of course, we don't, we only believe in the one true God of Israel named Yahweh ha, Hashem Yeshua HaMashiach. But in Greek mythology, there is a God named Pan, which means the God of chaos, the God of pandemonium, the God of destruction. So when they released this quote unquote pandemic, which was not a pandemic, all right, there's much more of a pandemic of pornography and depression and tyranny. There's much more of a pandemic of persecution against Christians. But when they released the pandemic or the plandemic, the scamdemic, this was really releasing and opening up the portals of evil and darkness of a dark plague on the earth. Now, one of the words that God released uh, over 2023, and it's all tracked, recorded, you can see it on YouTube. But one of the words that the Lord showed me was that there would be another black, dark plague virus that's being released on the earth. Okay, now they are already planning that right now. You don't need to be prophetic, all right, to understand that these people are not going to stop until they destroy the earth. They're not going to stop until they have full control of every personal freedom of every individual. So there's so much going on on the earth realm, but you and I know that we battle in the heavenlies and we actually sit throned in the third heavens of God, ruling and reigning, having dominion with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we must pray. We must stand strong. And as we stand our ground, we will see a turn around in the name of Jesus. Now I'm sharing all of this to finally come to what I want to share. I believe right now we're one month away. It's August 21. Lord willing, tomorrow I'll do another prophetic broadcast on August 22. You already know God is a God of numbers. Some people uh, speak heavily against uh, angel numbers and uh, you know things of that nature. But if you understand Torah and understand the Bible, you understand uh, that God is a God of numbers, okay? But you see, tomorrow, I believe, on August 22, something prophetic and profound is going to take place. But today, as I'm releasing this live broadcast, this is August 21, 2023. We're literally one month away from Rosh Hashanah, the 10 days of awe. So you're going to be hearing me released a prophetic word for 5784 and even 2024 very soon. Someone say amen. But why is this important? Because the Lord said, this is the month of miracles and mysteries unveiled. I believe we are in a one month window. We are in a one month time frame. 
We are in a one month window time frame of miracles for the people of God, but as well, mysteries unveiled, unfolded and exposed. So we are in a critical junction. And once again, why is this season so important? This is the new Hebrew year, which means that there is a new beginning taking place. As we begin to close out 5783, this current Hebrew year, there's going to be a lot of closing of doors. And whenever it's around the end of the year or the new Hebrew year, there's always things that happen in the natural realm. Once again, uh, I believe I just shared this on IG Live, but why did the terrorist attacks happen on 9-11? Now, Rabbi Jonathan Khan, the author of The Harbingers, gives great prophetic insight into this. But 9-11, 11 in Hebrew stands for judgment and justice. 11 also stands for transition. 11 in Hebrew also stands for the double doors of transition. So on 9-11, on that specific day, that was of course planned and plotted by the enemy and by these evil elitists, 9-11, that was an open door of destruction in America. Now, ever since then, of course, the words terrorism, terrorism, et cetera, et cetera, has been colluded and polluted in our minds and ears. And since then, there was, once again, the acceleration of wars in the Middle East. But I'm sharing all of this because in the month of September and October, which is the time frame of the 10 days of awe, not only is there a closing of spiritual doors, but there's also an opening of spiritual doors. There's closing doors and there's also opening of doors. And whenever God begins to close something, the enemy riles up in, in haste. The enemy riles up in, in, in furiousness. The enemy begins to rile up, uh, in anxiety because the enemy is trying to cause so much destruction, evil, chaos, and havoc before the new. But you see Rosh Hashanah, which means ahead of the year. The scholars believe that is when the heavens and the earth was created. Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God said, let there be light. This is the season where God spoke all of creation into being. So it's time for us to prophesy, to declare and to decree and to speak the word of the Lord because there's a new beginning taking place. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes and continue to tag somebody and share this on your wall. Once again, September to October, there are many things that take place. Why do you think Halloween is in the month of October? If you understand other world religions, there's also the most important Hindu, Buddhist, and Islam, Muslim holiday that takes place around this time. Why is that? Because they are counterfeits to the Judeo-Christian biblical feast of God. These are counterfeit doors, counterfeit festivals, counterfeit times where they try to open up evil demonic portals in the same time frame. Now that is just a little extra information for you so I can continue to build up my proposal or build up this foundation of what I wanna share with you today. Friends, we are in one month of miracles and one month of mysteries unfolded and unveiled. So I prophesy that in this month, as we're about to step into September, and as we're about to step into gear up into the 10 days of awe, get ready to be in awe of the Lord. But also the enemy is going to try to cause a flood of evil and injustices. But we understand according to the word of God in Psalm 91, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that God will raise up a standard against him. So there's a new breed, there's a new glory, there's a new fire, a new anointing, and there's a new standard that God is raising up. And of course, that word in Hebrew, standard, it means banner. 
There is a new banner of God's justice that God is raising up. It's a banner of war. It's a banner of breakthrough. And it is a banner of breaking through into the land of promise. Are you ready to receive today in the name of Jesus? Amen. Now I want to share, I want to share two scriptures with you very quickly. I want to share two scriptures, but I want you to comment below where you are watching from. Amen. Comment what nation you are representing, what city, what region, because this is an urgent prophetic broadcast. And like I said, about one year ago, exactly this time, the Lord showed me a very urgent word about people in the United States standing in lines for bread, uh, standing in bread lines, homeless shelters, and all of that is increasing from then to now. And I feel the same prophetic warning and sense today in Jesus' name. So the first, praise God, the first scripture I want to go to and highlight right now. So once again, before I review the first scripture, whenever it's around this time frame, I always get in my spirit red alerts, alerts, like sirens are going off. Alerts, alerts. I believe this is a season for us to watch and pray and for the intercessors to be alert. Jesus said, can you not pray with me for one hour? This is a time to pray and to stand alert in Jesus' name. All of God's people say amen. So let's review this first verse. Luke 21, 28. When these things begin to happen, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing nigh. When these things begin to happen, stand up and lift up your heads. It doesn't say crawl into a corner. It doesn't say crawl under your blankies. It doesn't say go and hide or just stand down to the evil tyranny of the government. It says stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing nigh. Amen. There are signs of the times taking place. You don't need to be a Bible scholar or a theologian to understand what's going on on planet Earth today. All right, Pakistan. What's going on in Pakistan? Churches are being burnt. Christians are being persecuted and terrorized right now in Pakistan. <clears throat> There's been earthquakes in California. On Independence Day, August 17th, we had a great event with Prophet Joel Abraham. And as I preached on the dragon falling over Indonesia, just one hour later, there was a 5.7 earthquake in Indonesia. We also see the fires in Lahaina, Maui. My heart is so broken over that devastation. And the Lord rebuke you, Governor Josh Green. Repent, you evil oligarchs of the left over Hawaii in Jesus' name. So there's fires that took place in Lahaina, Maui. And of course, what took place is very, very questionable. Fires in California, fires in Spain, fires in Canada. There was just a big hurricane that tried to, called Hurricane Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, this hurricane, tried to cause devastation in Mexico and Southern California. But the devil is a liar. And of course, because the prayers of the righteous availeth much, the hurricane was thwarted and diminished and literally became nothing. Amen. There are all these signs, even in South Africa, there's injustice and protest riots taking place in the United States. There is burglary, crimes, looting, flash mob looting taking place. Look at that, Helen Gazanis comments, there's fires right now in Greece. Remember, I released a word about, uh, I think it was called the sacks, all right? But about Greece, Italy, around those nations, I released a word earlier this year. Fires in Portugal, look at that. So what the enemy is trying to do is push their evil narrative of the so-called 
global climate change. But this is a total lie, my friends. There is no such thing as global climate change. What this is, is the globalists trying to have tyranny and control over the earth. All right, listen, hear me now. The earth is blessed by God. Although there is a curse over the earth, because of the presence of the saints, the earth is being restored like the Garden of Eden. All right, the earth will heal itself. God has created this planet with everything that we need to heal, to restore, to come alive again in the name of Jesus. But what the globalists are trying to do is cause terror and fear so that they can have full control and there can be another lockdown so that they can destroy more lives. But we say no to the devil and we declare the plot of the enemy is exposed in Jesus name. I want to share one more verse here. One more verse and then I'm going to begin to go into the prophetic warnings that God has given me. The urgent prophetic warnings. Now, <clears throat> interestingly, I've been preaching, prophesying a lot about the white horse. And of course, the white horse is in the book of Revelation. And Revelation is an end times eschatological prophetic book. Now, of course, whether you're post-trib, mid-trib, pre-trib, uh, whatever your dispensation or interpretation of the book of Revelation is, we know 100% that all of those events already took place. They already took place in 70 AD. Every Bible scholar will agree that the events that are listed in the book of Revelation, they were already taken place in 70 AD at the destruction of the temple and as well the dispersion of the diaspora of the Israelites. If you're with me today, say amen. However, the reason that Revelation makes it prophetic, the book of Revelation is prophetic or the spirit of prophecy is upon the book of Revelation is because prophecy has an innate ability to repeat itself, to do it again. And that's what prophecy means, do it again. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, which when it is written or released, it means that there is the propensity and a possibility for that to happen again or for it to be done again. And that's why the book of Revelation is an end times prophetic book. If you're following me so far, just say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Now, I've been preaching, prophesying a lot about the white horse, and I've been having visions about the white horse, and that's been very redemptive. But I'm sharing this word here, Revelation 6, 8. Let's read it now. And I looked and behold, and behold a pale horse, pale like Joe Biden, a, I'm not saying Joe Biden is a, the pale horse, but Joe Biden is quite pale, isn't he? Although he has so many vacations that are paid by U.S. tax dollars. And I looked and behold, a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. I want you to follow that fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. The vision of the pale horse, his name was death and hell followed with him. Now hell is a real place and the realm of hell will continue to increase and enlarge in, in the earth. Okay. The realm of hell. All right. Hell is not just in the abyss, which I believe is in the center of the earth, but that's for another day for another teaching. But hell is a very real place or a very real realm. It's not just spiritual, but there is also a literal physical hell. Now that realm of hell 
followed this pale horse called death. And power was given unto them over fourth part of the earth. I want you to follow that. Fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and the beasts of the earth. Revelation 6, 8. Now, I am not saying we are in the season of the pale horse right now. I'm not saying that at all, okay? I, I want to say that very clearly for all of you heretic hunters that like to make false videos about me, all right? I'm not saying, I believe, we are in the time frame of Revelation 6, 8. But I do believe what the evil globalists are trying to do. They are trying to destroy a fourth of the earth. They're trying to... They're trying to destroy a fourth of the world's population, at least. Some people are, are saying at least a third or maybe even half by sword, which means wars and rumors of wars, with hunger, which means famine, floods, hurricanes, natural disasters, and with death, okay, which can also mean the spirit of plague, or the spirit of infirmity, because a spirit of death literally means sickness, infirmity, and disease. And as well, the beasts of the earth that can be interpreted as wild, savage beasts, okay? Uh, looting, robbing, burglarizing, not just the behemoths of the earth, but this can literally mean uh, hordes of people trying to cause tyranny and destroy and ransack, rape and ravage. If you're following me so far, I want you to nod your head yes. Now that can be one interpretation. All of that that I just shared, that was the foundation and that was a buildup for what I want to release right now because that we are living in an urgent time, my friends. Urgent, urgent prophetic warning, amen. And like I said, we are in a one month time frame of miracles and a one month time frame of mysteries unfolded and unveiled. Now, I believe friends in the next month, the enemy is gonna try to work overtime. All right, the enemy is gonna try to work overtime. There are 10 things that the Lord has shown me that the enemy is going to try to release in the next month. He's already been releasing these things, but there's gonna be an, an acceleration and an overt attempt in the natural to try to continue these evil plots, plans, and agendas. But we are in a one month window of miracles and of mysteries unveiled and mysteries unfolded. Someone say hallelujah. Now, friends, there's 10 things the Lord has shown me that we need to pray for. In fact, I saw it very clearly in a vision. And even as I was away from the United States for the last four weeks, I saw that the enemy was trying to release havoc on the earth. But we say no, and we say return back to sender in Jesus' mighty name. Now, there's 10 things that I'm going to begin to share with you that I believe we need to pray against and we need to be aware of. And listen, it is my prophetic duty to release the word. And as well, it is our prophetic responsibility to track and to date these words because truly the word of the Lord will come to pass. And as these words are being shared, spoken, prophesied, released, it is our prophetic responsibility as a prophetic ecclesia for us to track these words and to align ourselves and to see what's taken place in the news and in the natural. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. But the Lord showed me 10 things that are going to take place in the next month that we need to pray against. Are you ready? to hear this and are you ready to receive this? If you're ready, I want you to say amen and I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share and tag somebody 
here in the name of Jesus. Number one, I saw where the enemy is trying to release blackouts. There's going to be energy and electricity blackouts across America and across the earth. They're going to blame global climate change. Like, you know, I, I said a lot of things on part one, and that's probably why it got canceled or got shut down, right? But because I'm, I'm hitting all the right words that they're trying to censor us and they're trying to police us with. But number one, I saw electricity blackouts. I saw blackouts of electricity and cities getting shut down. So I saw blackouts across America and blackouts across the earth. The enemy, of course, with the 5G hotspots, with 5G, which has actually been banned now in Russia, allegedly. But what these 5G towers are doing, it's, it's uh, emitting radiation in the air to kill the people of God to uh, oppress and to destroy certain frequency powers and levels uh, on the earth. But these 5G towers are trying to destroy the people of God. But the first thing I saw was blackouts. Now we know the global climate cult, what they're trying to do is they are trying to move everybody to electric cars, EV, electric vehicles, so that they could totally stop our transportation, so that they could totally control where we go, where we don't go. They will track our every movement. They will track our every transportation movement and our doing. Now, a lot of people can argue and say they're already doing that with Wi-Fi, with electronics, with our phone, etc., etc. But these global climate cults, these occultists of climate change, what they're doing is trying to release blackouts so that they will have total control and eventually release martial law, eventually release total tyranny on the earth. So the first thing I saw was blackouts in America and across the nation of the earth. So we need to pray against blackouts. Number two, the second thing I saw was more fires and earthquakes. Now, there was a catastrophic fire in Lahaina, Maui. Fires happening now, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Canada, California. There's gonna be more fires and earthquakes, friends. There's gonna be more that's gonna take place. Fires and earthquakes. So pray against fires, earthquakes, because they are pushing their evil agenda. Now we understand that there's healthy fires. In fact, I just got off the phone with one of my friends who is a firefighter in California. And he shared that Fires are natural and there should be healthy fires to get rid of the shrub and to make room for new growth and new plants and new life. But there are also arsonistic fires, man-made fires. There are fires and earthquakes by these one world globalists that they are omitting and committing. So pray against fires and earthquakes. Number three. The third thing I saw was explosions. I saw trains exploding. I saw power plants exploding. I saw buildings exploding. Now, what happened to Lahaina, Maui is definitely not an accident, all right? We know that there are some unusual things taking place. In the United States, trains have exploded. There's been liquid spill, chemical spills. There's been so many unusual things happening. So the third thing I saw was explosions. We need to pray against terrorist attacks and explosions. Targeted explosions on trains, 
airplanes, buildings, and even power plants. Number four, the fourth thing that I saw, my goodness, was more death. Now, this, listen, I am a hope prophet. I am a good news preacher. But the fourth thing I saw was more deaths. And that could be because of jab, that could be because of these natural calamity disasters. But we need to pray against the angel of death. As long as you and your family is covered by the blood, the angel of death will pass by and the angel of death will not touch you. But I saw literally crowds of people dead, even on the shores of beaches. In the vision, I saw crowds of people dead, almost like it was Iwo Jima or Notre Dame, almost like the Travis Scott concert. But I saw deaths, like a spirit of death and the plague of death being released on the earth. So we need to pray against the spirit, the angel of death, because the enemy, remember, Praise God for Roe versus Wade that was overturned. But since Roe versus Wade has been overturned, the enemy is thirsty for blood. The devil is thirsty for human flesh, thirsty for human blood. Therefore, there is an acceleration and increase of the spirit of death and the principality of death. So pray against death. Number five, the fifth thing that I saw was assassination attempts. Now we need to pray. I believe in the next month and even more up to the election. Come on, somebody. The winning election of Donald J. Trump next year in November 2024. I believe right now we we need to pray against assassination attempts. Remember the president or the prime minister of Japan was assassinated. Pakistan, assassinations. What in South America, assassinations. There are assassination attempts that's gonna take place, that the enemy is going to try to take place. So we need to pray against assassination attempts. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Help me to build up the room and the algorithm, praise God. Like I said, I believe this part, part two, as I'm releasing these 10 prophetic points, as I have this spirit of urgency in my spirit, I believe we need to pray against these things and be aware of what the devil is trying to plot and ploy. Number six, the sixth thing I saw was more hurricanes and storms. Now, some of you might say, well, duh, Pastor Ben, I mean, it's already happening right now. You don't need to be prophetic to see this. But really what I saw the other day was a big tsunami, a big tsunami with a large wave overtaking nations and regions. So we need to pray against hurricanes and storms. We know that a lot of these things, it's man-made by machines. It's man-made by the devil. It's evil spirits that are being conjured up. Hurricanes and storms. And I saw a large tsunami and flooding. Large tsunami. Number seven, the seventh thing that I saw was another lockdown of control and tyranny. Now, reports have been coming out, all right? And listen, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, all right? Because all of the conspiracies have pretty much come true, all right? But there are reports coming out that they're going to try to release mask mandates this month of September and by December, there will be another lockdown. 
So they are already preparing for another lockdown, already preparing for another Corona Bologna virus. They're already preparing for another release. And of course, these lockdowns of control and tyranny. What's going on right now in Maui Island? Okay, the government is making a mandatory for everybody to sign in. Otherwise, you cannot travel across Maui Island. They are tracking, they are policing, and of course they say it's for the safety of the people. But really, what it is, it is control and tyranny. So it's control and tyranny, my friends. Another lockdown. And that's why I've been traveling like a madman. I've been traveling to and fro, equipping God's people, imparting into the bride, sounding the alarm, raising up the new breed because I know another lockdown's coming, which is gonna make it nearly impossible to travel internationally or even domestically across America soon. So we must preach and get ready. Number eight, I saw another virus. Now, you know, I've been talking about this ever since 2020, ever since the first Corona Bologna. And I wanna say this, okay? I know coronavirus, all right, it's a real virus, all right, but it's really man-made in Wuhan, China. Coronavirus is nothing more than a flu, all right? There's diseases, there's, there's pestilence, there's bacteria here on planet Earth. But your human body is stronger than needing to take a jab. Your human body is stronger than all of these evil things in the air, in the water, in the land that is trying to kill us. So there's nothing for us to fear. Um, but I saw in the spirit a black plague being released. Now I know I released this word, I believe for 2023, but I saw like a black plague being released. And this black plague is another type of virus. I've been saying this, if you follow me, you know me. Every year, they're gonna try to release a new virus, a new contagion, a new, a new strand. Every year, they're gonna try to do this. So be aware and be prepared, my friends, because they're going to try to force more injections to track, trace, control, and to kill and to depopulate the earth. Why? So that they can have more control. They can take more of your land. They can inject more into your babies and your children and your, ch and your kids. Along with the control and the tyranny, I saw martial law attempts, which is number seven, going back to seven. I saw martial law attempts. Along with the riots, the burglaries, the protests, there's going to be martial law attempts, full total control and tyranny. So be aware of the martial law attempts. They're going to try to release fear and control so that there will be a martial law. Number nine, I saw an acceleration an acceleration of digital currency. There's gonna be an acceleration in the next month and even by the end of 2023 of the one world digital currency where they're trying to go totally away from the US dollar, from any paper money, any paper fiat so that there will be a globalist digital currency, which means they will totally track, trace, Stop all of your spending. Remember, in the end times, the Antichrist spirit, you cannot buy, you cannot sell, you cannot travel without having the mark of the beast, without having the one world digital currency. So there's an acceleration 
of the one world digital currency. And number 10, the 10th thing that I saw that is going to happen and we need to pray against in the next month as we're preparing for the 10 days of awe, as we're stepping into 5784, in these times of shaking and testing, the next thing that I saw, the 10th thing that I saw was more demonic activity in the skies, which they're gonna call aliens, UFOs. They're gonna call extraterrestrial beings. But there's gonna be more distraction, more talk, more naysay about these demonic entities, these demonic beings and creatures, even in the next month. These 10 things the Lord showed me in a vision. And I believe in the next month we need to pray. We need to pray against these things. Stand guard because the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And as we are sounding the alarm, and for all of you that are liking, sharing, thank you for sharing and tagging. We need to get this out to as many people because I'm a man of God. And I have no right, no business to lie or to profit lie or to try to release this for clickbaits and for likes. There is an alert alert in my spirit. And the enemy is stirring things up like a flood. But we know that when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will raise up a standard against him. Someone say hallelujah. Now I release these 10 urgent warnings or prophetic points for us to be informed, for us to watch and pray, and for us to pray against the dismantling, the destruction of the plot and the plans of the devil. Hear me now, I believe people are going to jail. I believe there's going to be more arrests, court orders, People are going to be arrested. People are going to be tried. And it, it's not President Donald J. Trump. Sorry, haters. Sorry, leftists. It is not Donald J. Trump. It is going to be these evil workers of deeds of darkness. But I believe even in the next month, we are going to see justice. We're going to see an overturning in the name of Jesus. We're going to see the word of the Lord come to pass because guess what? There's going to be great revival coming to America. There's going to be a great move of God in the United States and in the nations of the earth. Come on. I want you to comment your country that you're representing right now. There's going to be a mighty revival fire breaking out and the fire of God is going to burn off every virus, every disease, every wicked bacteria. The fire of God is going to burn off any poison of the vaccine that is in your bloodstream, in your body, in the body of your children and your children's children. The fire of God and we're going to see arrests. We're going to see indictments. We're going to see people going to jail. There's going to be justice. There's going to be an overturning in the spirit of God and in the courts of heaven we declare that the dragon has fallen in the courtrooms of God we prophesy that justice and vindication and recompense and payback is coming to God's people so guess what even though the enemy is stirring things up in the air and in the waters even though the fake news is trying to stir up pandemonium and chaos even though Though the global warming, global warming, climate change cult is trying to stir up evil, even though there's all this nonsense that's happening in the spirit and in the natural realm. God is raising up a new breed of apostles and prophets that will take back what was stolen, that will stand ground on these governmental soils. For as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. We rebuke 
the work of the devil. Get behind me, Satan. The church of Jesus Christ that is built on the rock of God's word will prevail and the gates of Hades will not overcome us. And there is a new move of God's power and healing that has taken place. Somebody shout hallelujah. We are going to see justice. We're going to see the wealth of the wicked be transferred. And even now I prophesy that in this last month of 5783, in this last month of 5783, you are going to see the wealth of the wicked be transferred to you. We are going to see the caravan of camels come to you. Get ready for checks in the mail. Get ready for unusual finances, unusual favor, unusual promotion. The Lord is closing doors in the spirit and God is opening up new doors of breakthrough and elevation and increase in your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. We're going to see moves of God. Moves of revival fire. We're going to see God's people arise and awake and take their place in the nations of the earth. If you're with me today, I say amen. I saw Philippines. There's going to be great revival in the Philippines. There already is right now. There's going to be great revival. Come on, list the name of your country you represent. Or the name of your city. Great revival in Puerto Rico, Boricua. In the nombre de Jesus. Shata Rebese. In the Hawaiian Islands. Come on, somebody. And who here knows that Hawaii had one of the greatest revivals in history. God's going to do it again. And that's why I continue to labor in the nation, the kingdom of Hawaii. Thank you, Lord. Shata Rabata. Homestown in Jesus' name. Scottsdale. Guatemala in the name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. West Virginia. UAE and the Philippines. Amen. Panginoon. Salamat po. South Carolina. Maryland. Come on, the DMV. We prophesy justice. Breakthrough in the DMV in Jesus' name. Hey, Behold, thank you, Lord. Yes, Shaka. Even now, I see angels being released. Angels of wealth. Angels of revival. And angels of justice. I hear the Lord saying in the next... Listen, we got Puerto Rico strong here. New Zealand, amen. Let all my Kiwis stand up in Jesus' name. Manado, Indonesia, Dua Mumbarakati, Anya Banya, Nova Scotia, Halifax. Jesus, yes. Shara Balabate. Listen, friends. I believe in the next few weeks, there is a release of these three specific angels right now. A release of three specific angels. Number one. There's angels of wealth being released. Number two, angels of revival. And number three, angels of justice. In the next month, God is expediting revival, wealth transference, and justice before we step into 5784 Rosh Hashanah, the head of the new year. I want to say I am the head and not the tail. If you're with me today, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Shata Rebe Setarabata. Robo Satarabata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise him. Mexico, Nigeria. Malaya, Barangay, Philippines. Jarabase Karaba, Arizona. God bless the USA, Toronto, Canada, Upland, California, Mexico, Philippines strong today, Mobile, Alabama, Jesus, thank you, Lord, Illinois, yes, Lord, 
New York, Mesa, AZ. Japan, God bless you. So good to have Japan in the house. Arigato. Australia, come on. Victoria, yes. Sharamanderere, Perry, OKC. Lift up your hands. Father, I thank you. God, I ask you that you would seal every word that was released. Jesus. God, I thank you right now. You are expediting and accelerating the move of God on the earth. And I declare in this one month, in this month, you are in a one month season of miracles and mysteries unveiled and unfolded. South Africa. Jesus. Rebe City, Puerto Rico. I've never been to Puerto Rico. I would love to. Lord, open a door for me in Puerto Rico in Jesus' name. I pray that Puerto Rico will open up for me in Jesus' name. Because we're going to we're going to a few countries in the Caribbean in the next six months. San Diego, Texas. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, I see you, Fiji. I see you, Fiji. Florida, Spain. Yes. Lift up your hands. God, I thank you right now. Listen, let's pray right now, friends. Let's pray, Tennessee. Let's pray that every evil, wicked plot of the devil will not only be exposed, but will be overturned and will come to nothing right now. Come on, we have 284 intercessors, 86, watching live now, 87. And there's going to be more watching. Can we pray right now? Pray. Let's pray specifically and let us target these prayer requests. Samoa, Lofayote. Let's pray right now that the enemy's plots will become nothing. That it will be shattered and scattered. And that the glory of God will come upon his people across the earth. So let's pray right now. I want you to pray. Shakaraba. Yes, we nullify. Nullify, cancel. In the name of Jesus. Rebe sete rebe shete. Rebe sete rebashata. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of we plead the blood. And hear me now, friends. Listen, listen. It is going to be more so important in these days to take communion. To take daily communion. Listen, you need to hear this, okay? Not only do we need to be concerned with our health, our temples, and eat healthy, all right? Because there's a lot of chemically uh, made foods and plants right now. I'm, I mean, in food plants, lab plants, right? I mean, there's lab-grown meat that's being sold across America disgusting but we need to take daily communion and I just felt this word in my spirit that you watching take communion daily as you take communion daily you will be cleansed you will be healed you will become strong in the might of the Lord and whatever bacteria whatever virus Whatever soy boy latte nonsense they're trying to put in your food, in your water, in the air. As you take communion in the name of Jesus, it will cleanse you and wash you in Jesus' name. So I feel this prophetic exhortation. Take communion, friends. Take communion daily. Amen. Do you heed this word today? Take communion daily. And if this bears witness with you and you agree to do it, I want to say that's me. Because I really believe 
in these days to come, we need to not just communion with the Lord, but the elements of the Eucharist, the body and the blood of Jesus. We need to honor the body and the blood daily and partake of it daily. Lord, I thank you right now. Bless your people in Jesus' name. Thank you for all that you said, all that was done. God, I ask you, let part one and even this part two, let it go far. Let it go far and let it awake and touch and alert your people in the body of Christ, globally, in Jesus' name. All the God's people say amen. Now listen, friends, praise God. My next Zoom webinar after Effective Spiritual Warfare is going to be Prophecy 5784 Rosh Hashanah. And it's going to be a live Zoom. But in this live Zoom, I'm going to prepare you for Rosh Hashanah, the new Hebrew year. And in this live Zoom, I'm going to officially released a prophetic word for 5784 and even 2024. Uh, so remember, it's not about how you finish, it's about how you start. And I wanna help you finish 5783 and step into 5784 together in the corporate atmosphere and anointing. And that is uh, on Eventbrite, that's online, live Zoom, and Prophecy Rosh Hashanah 5784. That's in about two months, a month and a half time from now. Uh, September 18, about one month from now. And that's gonna be very, very important for you to join. So if you're joining, I want you to comment, I'm joining, amen. Glory to God. Now, friends, if this broadcast, even part one, if part one and this broadcast part two bore witness with your spirit, please consider sharing. Tag somebody. We need to pray, friends. God is sounding the alarm. And as watchmen on the wall, we need to stand up, stand strong. And we need to pray as a corporate body because the devil doesn't play fair. And the enemy always gangs up and bullies up against the people. But when we gather and join under the banner in the name of Jesus, we will be unstoppable. Amen. So pray against these 10 things that was released that the Lord showed me. And in this one month, we're in a month of miracles and mysteries unveiled and unfolded. So be watchful, be prayerful, be alert. And if you enjoyed this ministry and you enjoy our ministry, consider giving this page a like and a follow. And follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. But urgent prophetic broadcast. Thanks for watching. Love you all. God bless. Amen. Shalom, shalom. See you soon.